everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, when I'm filming this, it's Monday, February the 7th of 2022. Can't tell you how many times, guys, I said January when I was supposed to say February. <laughs> yeah, I've filmed this intro at least a dozen times. Now, it is Monday, February the 7th of 2022. You guys are going to see this on Thursday, I believe. I'm here with a day in the life, follow me along, vlog style video, kind of just see what I do in a day. Um, and yeah, so a lot of you guys really enjoy these and I enjoy making them, so we're going to make them. Um, today, I don't have a ton of YouTube videos to do, like in-store filming and things like that. That is for tomorrow on Tuesday. But I do have several Etsy orders to drop off at the post office. Um, I actually got a total of 14 orders over the weekend. Um, I ran a sale or a coupon code rather for 15% off. And so many of you guys saw my couponing organization video and really love the wallets. Um, I'm using a coupon wallet right now and so many of you guys really love those. So I got 14 orders total. Most were wallets, but some were some other things. I am sending out six of them today. And that is because I ran into a slight bottleneck in production when I ran out of the wallet sleeves. So I didn't have enough of them on hand to finish all the orders today, but the wallet sleeves, Amazon says they'll be here by tomorrow. So I will get those out Tuesday or Wednesday. And so that'll work. Um, so yeah, gotta love bottlenecks in business, um, but it's all good. So I'm turning into the post office now, going to send those out. And then I'm gonna make a quick pit stop over to Respects again. If you guys watched my last vlog, I went to Respects. I don't know what's gotten into me. I never go to Respects hardly um, because I'm always in Kroger or Walmart doing videos. Sorry about that, guys. It's pretty bumpy at the post office. But Respects is literally right by the post office, like right on the same, um, same little road or whatever. So... I'm going to stop in Respects. They do have some good sales this week I want to take advantage of, actually. Um, and they actually have Ibotta. You can do Ibotta there now, which is really nice. So I am going to do that. And I just need a couple of groceries. And I'm not going to Kroger until tomorrow to do my video. So honestly, I'm just going to go to Respects today. So, you know, yeah. But anyways, guys, I am here at the post office now. I'm going to drop these orders off, and then I will catch up with you. I got my P.O. Box keys, too. So I'm going to check that and see if I got anything. You guys are so sweet at the P.O. Box. But I want to say this real quick. If you guys didn't already order from Etsy during the big snow day coupon sale, you can still order. I'm offering the vlog fam, which is you guys, an exclusive coupon code for 20% off of everything in my Etsy, excluding clearance. The clearance is already well above 20% off. But if you haven't already um, or if you just want to buy something else, the coupon code is just vlog fam. So V L O G F A M. Just enter that in. You'll get 20% off your order. And it's a win win. So yeah, but that's available to you guys. All right. I'm going to head on to the post office and drop these orders off and check my box. Okay. So I got the sweetest thing from Lisa, one of my subscribers. She sent me a card, a get well card. Since you make the world a better place. Thank you so much, Lisa. And she sent me five dollars cash and a ten dollar Kroger gift card like lisa that was so sweet you totally didn't have to do that but that's gonna help out a ton an absolute ton i will be at Kroger tomorrow doing my video so that'll definitely come in handy but it says dear nick thanks for all you do thanks for all the deals you share and here's a little something for you when you feel better and can get out there and shop again soon lisa thank you so much lisa that was sweet and then Colleen sent me this, which is actually really cool. It's a, she actually sent me this a little while ago. It's a mirror cam, but she forgot to send the mounting things. So she sent that. Thank you so much, Colleen. I'm excited to, to figure that out and use it. That was really nice of you to send that. So thank you both for that. All right, gonna head to Respects and do some shopping. So the main reason why I love this store is I can actually get a parking spot and not have to walk 5,000 miles into the building like with Kroger and Walmart. That's like always what happens to me. And they have digital coupons now too and some rewards thing, which I should sign up for, but they do have digital coupons, which is awesome. All right, starting out buying some cornstarch for $1.59. Okay, so we're gonna pick up some Organic Girl lettuce. We really like this lettuce. It's on sale for $4.39, which is kind of expensive. This is a pretty big thing of lettuce um, and it's organic and it's good. So I'm gonna grab that enjoy shopping at local stores however with a local store it can get more expensive so you do have to keep that into consideration but if you shop the sale prices and stuff 
you can get really good deals. And sometimes things aren't even that much more expensive. Some things are, some things aren't. So you kind of just have to keep in the back of your head what a good price is, um, which you know you usually pay for stuff. But and of course it does, it just feels good to shop at a local place and it's not busy and it's just really nice. So that's where I'm at today. I'm not quitting couponing at Kroger and Walmart though. Don't get me wrong. Just expanding my horizons a little bit. And then another thing to remember with a local store is they will do really good sale prices as loss leaders to try to get you in here to buy other things. So you will see like later on this week, they're doing a big three day sale here, which I might even come back and shop for where they're having just really good deals. And you know, keeping that in mind, shop those loss leaders because they want to get you in the store. So they'll do rock bottom sale prices. So don't discount your local grocery stores. Yes, we do get great deals at Kroger and Walmart, but check your sales ads for the local grocery stores as well because you can get some great deals. Has anybody ever seen croutons kept in the fridge section with the produce? That's a little, uh, little interesting, got to admit. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things I've got so far. I went ahead and picked this up. This is really cool. It's a zucchini squash and yellow squash, like multi-pack. It's $2.89 for the three. I don't think it's too bad. Um, got some organic girl lettuce here. This is the favorite lettuce that my family likes now. It's not the cheapest, but it's on sale, so that's good. Got the cornstarch. Um, I told you guys about that earlier. Then I got some Zevia. And this is another thing about local stores I like is a lot of times they have different things than like Kroger or one of those would have. Like I can't get the orange Zevia anywhere else or the strawberry. So it's on sale for $4.49. So this deal is one of the main reasons I decided to come to Respects this week. This is actually better than Kroger, believe it or not. I can't even believe it. But these are um, $1.99 on sale here. And Ibotta has a 50 cent rebate. It just makes them $1.49. And we need cheese right now. We really don't have much cheese in our stock. So, uh, okay. I'm going to just figure out how many of these, which ones I'm going to get. I'm going to get a total of five today because for that price, that's an excellent, excellent deal. So, great an easy freebie I found is on the Just Crack an Egg omelet rounds, which are on sale for $3.49, and I bought it just has a rebate for $3.49 back, so it makes this free. And then I picked up some Hill and Dale Farms bagels. My friend was eating a bagel and sent me a picture of it, and I just thought it looked really good, so I picked some up. These are $1.79. And then I wanted a smaller thing of cream cheese, but this is fine because I think it's good for a while, yeah. And it's on sale for three something for the whipped, and I prefer the whipped cream cheese because it's less calories, so boom get me out of here before I spend more money. <laughs> and unfortunately to get rebates here, the only downside is you have to link your store rewards number or something to it because um, they won't let you submit a receipt, which is really annoying because I like to do the receipt scans, but you just link your loyalty account here and then within, it said like four days or something, you'll get the credit to your account. So a little bit of a pain, but not the end of the world. I am such a dork, but a TBT is kids cuisine. Now they don't have the, what I remember, so when I ate these as a kid, they had the little pudding that came with it and you put like these poppet things in it and it was like so good, but they don't have those, but they do have this. Um, I think I'm gonna get this one instead. It's the all-star chicken nuggets. It comes with chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, corn, and a brownie. I don't know. It just sounds good right now and it's, 430 calories that's pretty good for everything for a lunch so i don't know i'm gonna relive my relive my childhood and have a kid's cuisine today okay i'm leaving before i spend any more money out of here okay so all done at respects now it all went really good it's actually my first time i finally got the respects rewards card or whatever um and it was really easy and as much as i've gone there lately I probably should have a rewards card because I guess you get like free gift cards or something if you spend a certain amount of money so I don't even know but yeah so that went pretty pretty good but anyway guys I am heading back home eat some lunch and get some work done we are going out tonight for my dad um, we're having a little celebration my dad got a new job we're all so excited that he got a new job um, because his old job was so stressful. He was the manager kind of thing over it. And it was so stressful. He was so busy all the time, constantly getting calls to come in and just didn't have much of a life. So we're so glad he got a new job. That's going to be so much better for his hours. And he can just have like a normal nine to five schedule. The insurance is really great. If you guys remember a few months ago, I was talking about how my medication, how the insurance was flat out going to refuse to even cover any of the medication costs. I'm on a specialty drug, if you guys didn't know that. And his 
um, former employer wasn't willing to do any of it. And thankfully the insurance he is through now is amazing. The company has great insurance. And so that's not even a concern anymore. It's just such a blessing. We're so thankful that God opened up the door um, for him to get this job. And so we're going to celebrate tonight. He wants to go out to dinner. I don't really know where he wants to go out to dinner. So we're kind of have to play that by ear. And then he wants to go to Ollie's. So what more can you ask for, right? Um, so we're gonna do that later tonight and I'll be sure to just keep vlogging along, but that's kind of what's in the works. All right, so it's like five o'clock now or whatever, and we are heading into Ollie's. This is like my dad's one request of where he wanted to go today. My dad can literally stay at the book section for hours. I don't even know what he's doing. He's like dancing by himself right now. It's kind of creepy, but uh, guess what? You're on camera. You're on camera. So an unexpected deal we found. I don't even think Ollie's usually carries paper products, but they do have the Up and Up, which is Target's brand of facial tissue. And this is something we don't have a ton of in our stockpile. So I am going to take advantage of this. It is $2.99 for a four pack. So it's like 75 cents a box, you know, but like a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So this is not too shabby of a deal. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these today just to be stocked up, but really good deal. I've had a lot of people ask me about finding good stockpile shelves, and these are actually really nice. Um, looks like similar to the ones that I have. It's 40 bucks for a four shelf unit. So that's not too bad. So you might wanna check your Ollie's if you're in the market for that. Check this out, guys. The um, Clairol Color Craves. Anybody remember back when we used to get this on clearance like for free all the time? <laughs> And make money but they really want rid of it it's 99 cents marked down and then it's an additional 50 percent off so it makes them 49 cents so hey if you're about that life to get some hair makeup 49 cents so this video originally wasn't intended to be a video where i find random deals at other stores but that's kind of what it turned into but yeah you can find deals at a lot of different stores if you just keep your eyes peeled now of course not everything's a deal so don't just come in here thinking everything's a really good deal when your couponers knew you don't want to come in here and pay five dollars for laundry detergent when we can get it for 99 cents but you can find some really awesome awesome deals if you just keep your eyes open like the tissue deal like that's an amazing deal so keep your eyes peeled okay so i wanted to mention this if any of you guys are into project life or if you ever heard of project life if you know what that is let me know in the comments i got into this a little bit a couple of years ago my family tried redoing our photos or whatever and so we used some of this stuff and this stuff i don't even know if this lady still is in business this company but this is a really really good price so the project life cards they have mini kits for 199 and then they have these core kits is what they're called they're the huge kits $4.99. They have a couple different ones here. I wish they had the baby kit because I would totally get that because my cousin Katie's having a baby coming up and my um, cousin Corey has twins. So it would have been perfect. They just have some childhood kits. So I don't really know if that's the same thing, but I don't know. I think I'm going to pass, but these are really good deals. If you ever were into Project Life or still do it, really, really great prices. And we got an extra 15% off coupon the cashier gave us. So that was really nice too. So those tissues were even better of a deal than I had planned. So There's pretty sweet. Too. That new uh, carpet here, your mom oh. will be doing laundry and style in the laundry room. <laughs> yeah, my mom got a rug for the laundry room. So the stockpile's in there now. We actually moved it over the snow storm. So I'll have to show you guys an update, but it looks so much better and just more organized. And um, so that's why she got this carpeting for that. So that should be nice. But now I think we're gonna get dinner. So I will let you guys know what's up after that. Okay, so we tried Olive Garden. Olive Garden was like a 15 or 20 minute wait. So we came next door to Tumbleweed, no wait. And Tumbleweed is delicious. So super exciting. We got chips and salsa here mild salsa and apricot salsa obviously we like the apricot salsa much better so that's why it's almost gone but delicious and then a salad with their homemade croutons delicious absolutely amazing and then for the entree i got a honey chipotle grilled chicken breast looks awesome it comes with some bread here and a baked potato butter sour cream looks amazing Okay, so done at Tumbleweed, which was amazing. I have not had Tumbleweed in a long time. 
and it was really, really good. So, anyways, I was gonna buy dinner to celebrate my dad's new job, but we had a gift card. So, I didn't buy dinner, but I'm gonna see if my dad will let me buy them, my dad and my mom, sweet frogs, frozen yogurt. Do you want that, dad? Oh, he didn't hear me. Let me ask him when we get in the car. Okay, dad, so since I didn't get to buy you dinner, will you let me buy you Froyo at Sweet Frogs? Oh, heavens, yes. All right. We got everybody at the uh, AEP eating here at the Tumbleweed tonight. <laughs> Gee, show you your stock. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get Sweet Frogs, so fun times. You know you live in Ohio when it's like 30 something degrees and you're getting ice cream. Like that's, that's what we do. Yeah. Cake batter is a must every time I come here. Talk about a sugar high here, but you know, it's worth it. All right, guys, it is a little after eight o'clock now. I'm gonna kind of touch base with you guys before we wrap up tonight's vlog. And this one's been long. I do hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. I know today's video was not supposed to be a vlog. It was supposed to be the weirdest couponing moments I've had video, which is still gonna happen. I'm really looking forward to that one, by the way. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that on Thursday instead because I was filming this vlog today on Monday. I originally was gonna schedule it out till Thursday. I was like, why, really? Why would I do that? Because um, you know, if I just post this video on Tuesday, I've already filmed it, and then I can work on the weirdest couponing moments video on Tuesday or Wednesday, so I thought that'd be, that'd make more sense. So I decided to post this vlog today. Don't be surprised, though, if you do see another vlog randomly pop up this week. I enjoy these so much. These are not, like, work to me. They're just fun. They're a lot of fun, and I love going back and watching these and seeing what we did and things we did and stuff like that, so... It's kind of like, I love it. I love the vlogging. Like I used to be when I was in middle school, I was like this avid journaler. I would like journal every single day and like write down everything that happened in the day. And I don't really do that so much anymore, but I feel like my journaling of, you know, the big highlights in my life is through these vlogs. Like I can go back and watch Vlogmas in the last four years and see, you know, how I spent my holiday season and just like doing vlogs throughout the year. It's so cool to see those big milestones in my life. And to share those on the vlog and have the memories. And so that's a lot of fun for me. You know, it's not it's not work. It's just fun. So you might even see some more vlogs that were unannounced just randomly pop up during the week. But, um, yeah. But the wackiest couponing moments, that, that video is still coming. I'm excited for that one. It's going to be a compilation of, like, old stories from really weird things that have happened to me at the store. And I've had some weird ones. So excited to post that. But anyways, we have a fun evening tonight celebrating my dad's big accomplishment, his new job. We're so proud of him. He has wanted to get out of the industry he's been working in for a while now. He had been working and oh my gosh, I don't even know how long he has been in this field, but it's been a long time and he just did not really, he wasn't really passionate about it anymore. It was really tough. He was on call constantly. People would call him at like two in the morning, needing him to do things for his job. It just was a lot of work. And so we are so happy he found a job that is definitely more what he wants to do. It's nine to five hours. You know, there's not going to be like, he's not going to be on call all the time. He's not going to have that constant stress of something could go wrong at work and they're going to need me. Like he had weighing over his head with his other job. So we're so excited for him and so happy and thankful that God did open that door. So we want to take the time and celebrate that tonight. So we had a lot of fun. Um, going to Ollie's, which that's, he loves his Ollie's. He d he does a lot of online shopping, but he loves Ollie's. So went there and then ate at Tumbleweed and at Sweet Frog. So it was delicious, delicious. And so before we end tonight's vlog, I do want to talk about something really quick. I'll try to keep it quick. Knowing me, this will be like a 10 minute thing, but that is answering a very popular question you guys have been asking here lately, and that is where is the Weight Watchers videos? I've had several of you guys ask um, and that you really liked them, and so I kind of wanted to touch base on where those are. So where are they? Well, there's a couple different reasons why you've not seen them lately, and the big one actually is 
I was making them weekly. I did it for a couple weeks and immediately realized this is not something I can do every week because there's just not enough interesting stuff to share in those videos. There just really isn't. My life is not interesting enough to, like my diet's not interesting enough to share this every single week. Like it was so monotonous. And so I just decided, you know what? We're not going to commit to doing them weekly. Um, I would rather do a vlog or something and do a Weight Watchers video once a month. So I decided that my weight videos were going to be once a month updates like week monthly weigh-in update things like that but I did have some people man I had some people come at me a little bit and that's something I wasn't quite expecting now I should have known this is the internet this is 2022 people are gonna have opinions but man some of you guys really let me know that you didn't agree with what I was doing I had a lot of people come at me for using fat-free dressing I had a lot of you guys who were diehard keto, like lifestyle livers, which is, hey, that's awesome. No, I'm not judging anybody's diet. That's the one thing I don't want anybody to be judged. That's what I ask for me too. If you're doing keto, great, but that doesn't mean you should come on and tell me what I'm doing is wrong or not good enough or whatever. And then I would have people who had done Weight Watchers basically telling me how I was wrong. It was just like, these videos are supposed to be encouraging for you guys and encouraging for me. And I don't feel like we were getting that. So that's the main reason why I don't want to do it. And then I'll be honest, it's been a struggle. You know, I started this out in January so excited. And then I got COVID. And then, you know, special days would happen where I could I just couldn't stick to the program. And then it got harder because on Weight Watchers, I'm a person I do like to indulge and have one sweet thing or whatever. And so I'd have, you know, three little tiny mini Ghirardelli chocolates that aren't hardly any calories, like 140 calories or something. 150 calories for four. But if I ate it on Weight Watchers, it would take like so many of my daily points away because they dock sugar so much. And then what would happen is I would give in and have the little Ghirardelli chocolate and then I'd have no points left, hardly, and then just be like over. It'd just be like, I'm done, I'm quitting this. And then it'd just be the cycle, I'd start it again. It just was the big ordeal. And so for all those reasons combined, I've not done the Weight Watchers videos. I'm kind of in limbo. I looked on my fitness pal today and I actually used to use my fitness pal a lot. I really enjoyed my fitness pal. Um, in between the time when I was in college, I believe it was like January, 2018, up clear through like, wow, months, months. I lost a ton of weight. Like I was down, my goal was to be under 200 pounds by graduation in May. And I hit that, I hit that goal using my fitness pal. And so it really worked good for me. And so that's something I actually looked today into going back to. I went through their app, I made a new account. And they had this like quiz and set me up with a program and it's just counting calories and it's free. And so my budget, that would be huge for my budget. But I felt like if I'm making the Weight Watchers videos, I really couldn't switch to a different program because I'd be letting you guys down. And so I felt at first like I was comfortable to share this side of me. But honestly, looking back, it really isn't something I'm sure I'm too comfortable discussing anymore. Just because of the criticism, I really did it as a support. I didn't do it to be told that I wasn't, like my diet was wrong. And I had people criticize me for saying diet. That made some people upset. I just am not, this is an area of my life that I'm working on myself and I really just don't want criticized for it. So, I mean, that's kind of that. I um, mean, I know a lot of you guys did enjoy the Weight Watchers videos and I'm not saying, I'm still planning on doing that February end of the month check-in and just telling you guys where I'm at. If I decide to stay on WW or if I decided to go to my fitness pal and do that route, um, I'm just kind of thinking about it. I am still trying to make healthy choices. I mean, I feel like what I had at Tumbleweed tonight was healthy. It was not a bad meal at all. I'm still trying to watch, you know, my calories. Yeah, today I, I went a little over, I'm sure, because of the sweet frogs. But, you know, you can indulge, but you can still make good choices. And that's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully you guys respect that and understand my decision on why I'm not doing them. It's a combination of factors. I mean, even before I got some of the criticism, I was already deciding I wasn't going to do it every single week. But, um... You know, all those reasons combined, it just has made it to the point where those videos are just not what I'm passionate about right now. I just really don't want to deal with criticism. So, yeah, there's that. But anyway, guys, I do hope you did enjoy this vlog. Like I said, don't be shocked if you see another one. I love these. These are fun. These are so much fun. 
and they just they don't really require work really for me it doesn't feel like work it just feels like i'm sitting down chatting with friends or whatever so it's a lot of fun so anyway guys that's all i got i hope you enjoyed and thank you so so much for watching <laughs>